Hey guys, so for this video, we're gonna look at some of the different features in the video platform within Flipgrid. When you go in to make a video, you'll find them right down here at the bottom uh, under options and effects. So let's take a look at what some of these effects do to the videos. So the first thing you can play with are filters. There are several different uh, filters, I think maybe 11 or so in total. And you can just kind of change the color of your, of, uh, your background. There are also a couple of fun funny ones uh, where it looks like it's pixelated and this one kind of looks like Legos, uh, but that's the first function. The next option you have are frames. Uh, so let me just take a look at some of the different frames you have. There are again, about 11 different frames that um, your students can use while making their videos. You also have the option to add emojis into the frame as well. Uh, there are not just faces, but also uh, images as well that you can add in there. Like I would search for a dog and it comes up with the dog emoji. Uh, and before you start recording the video, you actually have the option of making them larger or smaller. So as you can see, you can make them pretty big if you want to. You also have the option to add text to the video. Uh, you can move it around as well. Uh, there are seven different fonts, I believe. You can change the color of the text, the outline color of the text, and the background color as well. There's also a drawing function uh, within Flipgrid. You can see on the right there, I'm kind of drawing my picture. You can change the thickness of the pen you're using as well as the color, and you can do it kind of live while you're making your video as well if you wanted to. So you can see I'm changing the color and then I'll make it uh, super thick if I want to. This next feature is the whiteboard feature, and what goes well with it is actually using that writing tool. Because once you have the whiteboard on the right, then you can go back and jump in the pen and start drawing on the whiteboard. You also have the option of changing the color of the background of your whiteboard as well, uh, from kind of a traditional uh, green color to obviously white or that rainbow color or even like a night, uh, night sky picture. So that's kind of cool. And then maybe overlaying it with some text would be kind of cool as well. And then the last feature that you can do within the effects category is add pictures into your, your video as well. Uh, and then of course, all the other functions work on top of those videos. So if I wanted to draw on these and say, oh, there's a draw an arrow to Frida Kahlo or to uh, Diego Rivera, I could do that if I wanted to. But my probably one of my favorite features is that you can pause the video while you're making it. So while I've been making this whole video in Flipgrid, but while I've been doing it, I've been hitting the pause button, uh, which is right down there at the bottom so that I can then transition to the next effect that I wanted to show you. And that's one of my most uh, favorite features. I'm gonna show you now how you can now download your video when you're done, if you want to, or share it with someone. All right, now that I've finished um, making my video, I'm going to click the next button. You also have the option of changing on that last screen that I just showed you where I started talking. It's just um, playing my video and I can crop the video in length if I wanted to cut off the end or something like that. So uh, you can obviously fill out this information right here. You can change the, the default selfie or default picture for it if you want to. Confirm. And then uh, you can change the frame here as well if you want to put a name tag on there. We'll hit submit. It'll upload your video to the Flipgrid website. We'll hit complete. And then uh, over here on the right, you can see that you have some options to uh, share the video out with um, your students if you want to or somebody else. And then also you can download it right here with the actions button. And then it'll download it, I believe, as an MP4. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.